I'm Lawrence Cherney, Artistic Director of Soundstreams. Like many of us, I awoke a few days ago to the horrors of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, with all the bloodshed and carnage in its wake. What Putin will never be able to destroy is the courage and dignity of the Ukrainian people, their culture and their traditions. We've had the pleasure at Soundstreams to have a long-term association with the wonderfully talented Ukrainian-Canadian composer Anna Pidgorna. Anna is an alumna of our RBC Bridges Emerging Composers Workshop. She's written works for organizations all over the world, including several for Soundstreams. Most recently, and just before the onset of the pandemic, we premiered a new work by Anna called Three Woes, inspired by the seven trumpets of the apocalypse as found in the book of Revelations. At the time of the premiere, we never thought the apocalypse could be Russia's attempt to destroy Ukraine. We're joined now by Anna Pidgorna, who will share some thoughts with us about her Ukrainian heritage and offer further reflections on her work, Three Woes. I was born in Ukraine and spent the first 12 years of my life there. Uh, my family immigrated to Vancouver when I was 12. So my, um, my immediate family is here in Vancouver with me, my parents and my sister. So as I mentioned, uh, my whole or most of my extended family is in Ukraine right now. Uh, a few, a few people just by miracle of circumstance are outside because they work or study in other places. But the majority of my, my people are in Ukraine, uh, in some of the worst hit zones in the conflict, or actually I don't want to call it a conflict. It's a, it's a war. It's an invasion. Uh, Ukraine didn't have a conflict with Russia. Um, so some of my family is currently in Kyiv. They're sheltering in their apartment in one of the standard Soviet bloc buildings. Uh, they can't go to a bomb shelter because there is an elderly disabled uh, mother and it just it would be too difficult to get her down the stairs and they would make it to the bomb shelter when the uh, air raid siren goes. So they just sleep in the hallway of their apartment when they, when necessary to st be as far away from windows as possible. Um, and another, and uh, currently there's an enormous column of Russian tanks and other artillery moving towards Kyiv and the, um, Ukrainian army is uh, trying to disable them. Hopefully that's going to happen soon. Um, and the other side of the family is in a smaller city called Kherson in um, southern Ukraine. So that region is really quite heavily occupied by Russian forces who uh, crossed over through Russian occupied Crimea. And there's been quite a bit of fighting around the city up until this point. But uh, today, uh, Russian troops actually entered the city, so currently they're rolling around the streets with their tanks and um, uh, shooting. My family are hearing shooting. Uh, and um, some residential neighborhoods have already been bombed and several houses, several um, apartment blocks have been hit. But as of a few hours ago, my family was still unharmed. So we're just just waiting and hoping for the best. Um, uh, in my 20s, I started to get interested in Ukrainian folk music. I kind of just I felt this call to reconnect with my culture when I was searching for my own voice. Um, eventually, during my master's, I ended up going to Ukraine on the Canada Council grant to um, travel around villages and record uh, folk songs from uh, elderly women. It was an uh, absolutely transformative experience for me and a lot of music has emerged from that expedition. 
so uh, when I started composing the piece The Three Woes, uh, commissioned by Sound Streams, um, I decided to explore the Book of Revelations. Uh, I was not raised in any kind of religious environment. You know, Soviet Union was an atheist society, but I was uh, inspired by this statue in a small town in the middle of Kansas called Russell. Um, it's a statue by a local artist Trudy Fernie uh, of an angel holding a trumpet, and it's called the Seventh Angel. Uh, so it's a, a reference to the Book of Revelations. The seventh angel is supposed to bring uh, earthly paradise after all of the calamities that happen at the end of the world. As I started to learn about the the prophecy of the Book of Revelations, I just started to get this very creepy feeling of uh, that so many of these things were already happening with climate change. Like there were already fires, there were floods, uh, there was, you know, water being poisoned by uh, industrial chemicals. The piece really accidentally ended up being about um, environmental change and global warming. Uh, and then uh, we premiered the piece and then the pandemic happened. And I thought, oh my god, uh, here's the, the plague that they promised. Um, and now, uh, a few years later, there is what could potentially be the start of a third world war. So, yeah, this, uh, this piece just, it ended up being um, really creepily prescient.